I bet your, your hair ain't even real. I mean, quiet. Like, oh, we're going to talk about that tonight, as a matter of fact. Why? Did somebody say they thought it was like some toupee? My hair? Yeah. So we'll get into that in a few minutes. <laughs> so, so what do you think about the Illuminati? Ricky? Are you going to join the Illuminati? <laughs> Will it bring us fame and fortune? No. You know, if we could get our if we could get our lights back. I have fame and fortune without that. I, I'll join the Illuminati I have if fame they'll and give fortune my, without that. If they'll give me my likes, give me likes. I need what two thousand more <laughs> likes, two thousand likes, and two thousand watch hours. No. Yeah, I'll Wait, join you. You want to sacrifice me? That's I'll sacrifice her. Too. Punk? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it takes. But I like take need, him. I, I need my likes up. You, you already have so, friends so about speaking it. of which, you guys are not liking anything on YouTube. I need you to like it because nobody's gonna watch yeah, go it. Go, might not watch, watch it anyway, it, but like it, share it, share it, save it, download it, bootleg it, <laughs> bootleg it. But, it's uh, always better when it's bootleg. So yeah, so she's watching the uh, Illuminati, and she's like sending me these videos. And, and now I know he's not watching them. Apparently, I, I didn't watch none of them. To be honest, see if I watch them, you send me. No, movie. okay, I watch. I tried to watch it. It was like terrible. It was like unwatchable. <laughs> it's, like, it's on. It's on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, she was sending me these TikToks, and uh, it's just like little short clips versus like it explains it in like two minutes versus like a whole hour or something. I mean, these were like people that I would never listen to in real life. Oh, they were interesting. I just fun. skipped to the last one, and then that was it. It's like when you talked about your friend being abducted by aliens. That was that was fun. That was really good. That was that was good. I thought that was our best video so far. Uh, so if you didn't see it, guys, you got to check it out. It's called Aliens, aliens. and one of our other previous things. And were, it's true story. My, I was there. My, me and my buddy, we left the club, and I was driving on a motorcycle. He was driving in a car, and he just disappeared the next day. And I was looking for Keith, and he, he never showed up. And he walks in the door like 15 minutes later, and we're like, where were you? And then he said he was abducted by aliens. Anyway, so if you want to hear that story, look for it on YouTube. I'll do stuff on YouTube, and he'll tell you and about the- He's the, putting his reputation online. This is not a lie, y'all. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> this is real dude stuff. And mind you, so mind you, this guy, I hadn't talked to him in like 15 years. And out of the blue, so we're, we're sitting here just like we are now, and then I said, like, I'm going to call him in and put him on the air. This was like one of our first shows. It might have been the first show. I think it was the first show. And, and uh, so I called him and then had him talk about the story. So, yeah, it's pretty and, good. I mean, he didn't skip a beat. He just picked up. He didn't say, what are you talking about? No, that was just joking. He literally skipped, he didn't skip a beat. He's starting to tell the whole story like Gavin had just told me. So that's just weird because both of them are telling the same story and they haven't talked to each other in 15 years. But that's a good story. So. So that leads us into, since we're talking about crazy stuff, uh, so there's a new a new show coming out on Netflix called Sexy Beast. And Sexy Beast is about, um, it's a dating show where you have to dress up in like a, a, a what would you say? Like that mask. Word? It's a mask, but it's like a full head. Like character. it's like a Halloween Yeah, mask. like a Halloween mask. You cover your, your whole, head. whole body's covered in whatever yeah. costume, like face. like a goofy outfit. You know, you know, goofy like on uh, what's that show? Goofy and uh, Donald, uh, Donald Duck. Duck yeah, and, like you got a Donald Duck head, goofy head on a date. I'm and then, jealous. I, I wish we had came up with that idea. I think that's a brilliant idea. It really shows what type of person you are. Like, are you gonna? just be about the looks like after you've gotten to know each other and you actually like each other and then you take it off and you're like, ew, I don't like you and look like a very, you know, what do you call it? A vain person. <laughs> so, so that, that's the purpose of it. It's supposed to come out. I, I think this weekend, I'm not exactly sure the date. I should have wrote that down while I was busy, but, but anyways, that comes out. This should be a good show. Good. That's a new I one I can watch weekend, on Netflix called sexy beast. So you guys check that out. Yeah, check that out. I know I'm gonna check that out. Um, and double dutch. You can double dutch. Oh my still? gosh! I remember you and them girls used to double dutch. Yes, I can. How long have y'all gone back? Like little girl bow days or something? Yeah, I knew her since she was a child. Wow, that's a, a child. long time. 
I never could double dutch, my big feet. I could never double dutch <laughs> either, but I just watched the girls double dutch. Of course you did. <laughs> but uh, yeah. He just watched everything shake. Yeah, I know, everything. right? Shoot, y'all didn't have nothing shaking back then. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sure didn't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I just want to see. Well, none of them the did story. back then. You, you guys didn't even hit puberty then. Well, that was like, oh, sweat. Well, when did I meet you? Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen? Oh, you? No, it was way before then. Because my sisters used to baby Cecilia. So if you're being babysat, then that was. You have to be not even a teenager. I imagine. I don't know that. What can you still do that you used to do? You know, oh, so since, since we're talking about that, so I thought I used to be a break dancer, believe it or not. And I thought I could yes. break, I thought I could still break dance. <laughs> I would dance. love to see that. And I tried that, I almost broke my arm. So I haven't done it since. <laughs> oh my gosh. When's the last time you tried it? <laughs> that was like 15 years ago. I tried 15 years ago. Oh my God. And I, and I about broke my arm. So I, I never done it after so that. So where did you want to break that movie? Do you know? No, you know that? I never oh. knew that. <laughs> yeah, I used to be a break dancer. Yes, you. You don't even dance now. You don't even get up and do anything. Yeah, I don't. I don't dance too much. But uh, you yeah. might break a leg. <laughs> you might break a hip. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that. Did you know me back then, Ricky? Yes, I remember you doing it. Oh, okay. Really? Was he good? I I don't remember. I just know that he did. <laughs> Was he a ladies' man? Yeah. Oh, oh my I god! Think so. I pictured someone back then. He looked good back then. Yeah, he had the muscles, the cool guy look thing going on. Anyways, we're gonna move on. <laughs> I had said something to you in a text message how you looked like you was getting a little thin on top. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, that wasn't the segue I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> it always does we're that. We're back from Ohio to Virginia, and we're in West Virginia, and we hit a deer on the motorcycle. That was actually Michael Fears. So if you look in the forum for Michael Fears, and he's talking about the motorcycle that that he loaned me, and I hit a deer on. That's I'm the guy. Well, so what happened to the motorcycle? I mean, it it had some damage, but it it wasn't. It was still working. Well, in fact, he the next time I seen him, then then he got the motorcycle back and. Uh, cause first he, so what happened was I was in school and when I, w I moved to Ohio, when I first moved to Ohio, um, as soon as I got there, literally, as soon as I got there, somebody, somebody ran into me, a hit and run mm. and told him my car. So I didn't have a car. So I'm walking, catching buses and I was going to school. And uh, so to get to school, it was like, it was in, you know where, you know where Celia lives, uh, Ricky? And like in Hilliard, is it Hilliard? Of is course. Okay. So, so it, it was over in Hill, near Hilliard where I went to school. I mean, I lived in, in uh, German Village. So I had to catch a bus downtown. Then I had to transfer to another bus. And then the other bus to pick me up was like on a delay. So it would be 45 minutes. So I'm waiting 45 minutes to get on that bus to go to oh another God. bus to go to Hilliard. Cause I didn't have a car. Get jet lag from that. Anyways, long story short, uh, I met Mike. It was like winter out there. I'm freezing every day, going to school freezing. And then finally we became friends and then he started picking me up. I think he started picking me up from school cause he liked my sister. So I lived with my sister at the time Go sister. in, in, uh, in German village in that apartment that Ricky, you've been there before, uh, in that apartment. And so he, he, <laughs> went to see my, he went to see my sister. Uh, so he would come over and pick me up anyways, long story short. Uh, then in the spring he got a motorcycle, but then he didn't have nobody to ride with. So he loaned me his motorcycle and he bought another, a second motorcycle. So anyways, we started riding and then, and then that's that's how that happened. And I, anyways. So what happened to Bambi? Do you remember oh, he Bambi? died. Oh, <gasps> he died. I mean, yeah, he tried to kill me. <laughs> he you, tried to kill me. You should be watching for him. No, I'm driving on my road <laughs> in my lane. I'm in my lane driving, minding my own. Now we business. know what happened. Really, it's a Bambi. And then this the deer comes out, mm -hmm. and, and and I see him there. He's like standing on the side of the road. 
I'm going like 55 miles an hour and I'm watching him. And I'm so I, no, first I was going like 70 and I slowed down. And then, uh, and then uh, right about 55, I'm watching him to make sure he don't come out in the road. And at the last minute, he runs, tries to cross oh. the road, and then I hit him. And then he came up over top of me like oh this, and he pooped all over no. me, everywhere. It was everywhere. It was nasty. And we're like <laughs> in the middle of West Virginia. <laughs> oh, so you had to drive with like poop all over yeah, you? Yeah. How'd you get back? We rode the bike. But I mean, my lights, my lights were busted <laughs> out, so I couldn't see. It was dark. It was horrible. You guys did the craziest thing. You talk about me. It was horrible. And deer must have been like depressed or something. You like jump out in front of you. I was depressed. <laughs> I was depressed. <laughs> I was depressed. Wow, what a story. <laughs> so then, then so we were talking about stories from our childhood, and then I was I was bringing up one where this guy, his mother used to always comb his hair all the way back, all the way back. And then his forehead would be exposed. He had this great big forehead. He didn't really have a big forehead, but his hair would normally cover his forehead, you know, like most people. But but because his mom would brush his hair back, his forehead would always be sticking up like a big, like a headlight. And then, so uh, his name was Butchie Bass. You might know him, uh, Ricky. Uh, <laughs> but so anyways name. every time we see somebody with a big forehead we call him a butchy bass it's like look at that butchy bass <laughs> it was oh funny my God. it was funny at the time. Mean kids. Uh, so that was one of the stories from my childhood and then there was this other one i'm going to tell you this other story um so then this was actually older as i got older and was i went to clubs and stuff i went to this club downtown um uh, in richmond and there's this guy, every every time he owned the club, his name, well, I'll get to his name in a minute. I don't know, should I say his name? Uh, I, 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 won't, I won't say his Go name. Bleep. <laughs> I'll just tell you his last name. And if you know him, then you'll know him. Anyways, so we would go to the club and, uh, you know, and he'd always let me in. For some reason, he liked me. I don't really know why, but he would let me in free and let me jump the line, whatever. And... Uh, and he would always like look at my hair, you know. He look at my hair. I had better hair than I have now, but uh, he would look at my hair, and I thought he had good hair. He had good hair, nice hair, flowing hair, you know, like you know, <laughs> Fabio looking guy and stuff. And so, anyways, Kelly boy. <laughs> I mean, I didn't think about anything about it, but then he one day we sat down at the bar and he bought me a drink, and uh, he owned the club, and uh, he's talking. He wasn't gay or nothing. He had he had girls. I mean, he just admired a, your hair. Yeah, guys can do that too. But, but he had his hair was better than mine, so maybe he's looking know, at competition. I don't know. It wasn't that because he had plenty of women and he had money, and the the club was his. And the heart to heart, and he's like, uh, "So tell me, where'd you get your hair?" <laughs> I'm like, what "Where'd you, you get your hair?" What are you talking like, about? I grew it out of my head. My hair is real. <laughs> my hair is real. My hair is real. By the way, so it is real hair. This is real hair. You <laughs> have a good hair today. This is, yeah. this is my hair is real. So anyway, he's like, he starts talking about hair. I guess he thought my hair was fake. And uh, he's was, thinking about it, make a pretty wig. Yeah, How I'm much like, for it? <laughs> so then I said to him, this is my hair. He looks at me. Oh, really? And then, then he starts telling me about his hair. He's like, well, I, I also own this hair, hair transplant company. Oh, really? And he told me his hair was fake. Like transplanted on yeah, him. Yeah, it's wow. transplanted on him, and I'm like, okay. So that, so yeah, he probably, he might be secretly hating. Like, no, I wish he, I, I wish I had my hair like that without implanting it. He could be yeah. secretly hating. He's secret hater. Secret no, so, admirer. So secret I was hater. like, so anyway. All right, I'm gonna tell. You, I can't tell you his name, right? I can't say that, right? No, just make up one. Okay, so. Well, his last name was Fugazi, right? His name was Mister Fugazi. 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 Mister Fugazi had this nice hair. <laughs> And uh, anyway, so okay, suave hair. <laughs> so then one day, my 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 friends and I were were getting together, and we we had this video. We made this video in this hot tub. Uh, it was <laughs> you know, so, what so in the world. This was back in the day. We wanted to make a funny video, like dude stuff, and it, it was going to be a series where we just get in the hot tub. You know, called hot tub stories. So we got in this hot tub, and then we would sit around there and get drunk. And then we talk about stories. And so, anyways, uh, 
we were talking about that and I was like, yeah. And then we started talking about the hair dude, the transplant dude. And then my friend was like messing with his hair. He's like messing with his hair. He's like, yeah, this is my Fugazi weed. Oh I got God. a Fugazi weed. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, somebody, somehow or another, Fugazi, I don't know if it's an Italian or something, it means fake. So this is Fugazi weed. Oh Fake my God. weed, and that's the guy's name is Fugazi. Fugazi. So, and anyways, it was funny. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was funny. So yeah, that was, it, he said he had his patented Fugazi weed. <laughs> it was funny. You had to see it. I'm gonna try to find that video. I might have it as a video. It might be like eight millimeter or something, and I might splice it in here, and then show you that <laughs> that cool. back in the day. But anyways, so that's about the Fugazi weed in the in the Butchy Bass. The Butchy Bass. <laughs> That's what I got. I got it. Gazy weed. Gazy weed.